so first what you want to do is you want to go to getpaint.net so just type in getpaint.net oops i'm already on the website so yeah uh and then uh if once you're on getpaint.net click uh, get it now and then go to download now and then free download now and then i already have paint.net so i don't need to install it and then in the description below, there's also going to be a link to uh, all these Paint.net plugins that you uh, need to install. And then uh, there's also going to be, be a video on how to install Paint.net plugins. So I suggest that you watch that. Uh, once you're done uh, installing Paint.net, no, once you've installed Paint.net and all the plugins, you can just uh, open up Paint.net. And then go to File, New. And then make this a thousand by a thousand which is the size of a profile picture for youtube so uh, uh if you uh, did it correctly you should see like this white box so what you want to do is you want to go to the magic wand tool and then just left click on the white box and then just press Control x like that and then uh after that uh just look for a background you want to use i already have a background that i want to use so i'm just gonna like import it um, it's this wallpaper from League of Legends. Um, if you want to use this wallpaper, the one right here, um, I'll put I'll put a download link in the description below. So uh, yeah. So uh, once you have your image, press Control C, and then go to the uh, profile picture, and then press Control V, and then uh, select Keep Canvas Size. Don't select Expand Canvas. So just uh, keep Canvas Size. And then if you want to make it bigger or smaller, hold shift and then just drag the corners. Hold shift, left click and then drag the corners like that. And then I'm going to move it around. You can do something like this. Uh, I like it like that. So then once you're done positioning it, I'm just going to deselect it. And then in the description below, there's going to be a link to these stocks. Uh, this is pretty much like... Uh, there's these effects that you can put on top of your profile picture. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, I'm going to use this stock. Uh, these stocks will be in the, in the uh, description below as well. There's going to be a download link to them. So, uh, I have, like, different stocks that I found from the stock pack. So, I'm using this stock. And then, uh, once you found the stock you want to use, press Control c And then go back to the image. Add a new layer above the background. Press Control v and then uh, select keep canvas size again and then i'm just i'm just gonna position it like that hold shift and then uh drag the corners to reposition to like resize it i'm gonna deselect it and then uh once you're done positioning it go to layer properties and then change the blending mode to overlay or maybe color dodge it honestly depends you'll have to play around with this uh i'm gonna go with overlay click ok and then uh, I'm gonna go to the background uh, since like the effect doesn't like uh, blend well with the background I'm just gonna uh, change this so I'm gonna go to the uh, stock photo layer 2 and then I'm just gonna change the saturation no I mean I'm just gonna change the hue so that it's purple like that click OK and then go to the background and then press control shift U again and then uh, I'm just going to lower the saturation to 50, like that. Maybe a bit more. Uh, let's keep it at 50. Click OK. And then it should look like this. Um, I might raise the saturation of this a bit. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. So go to the go to layer 2 and then just press Control shift u and then just make the saturation like 200 or something. Click OK. And then let's do our text. So uh, add a new layer above everything, and then uh, just pick a font you want to use. Uh, I'm gonna go with MF Plexus Italic, and then make the font big so that you can see it. I'm just gonna do a T, and make sure your primary color is white like that. Uh, it might have to be a bit bigger. So I'm gonna do 500, like that. And then, uh, what you want to do is you go to your magic wand tool Hold shift and then left click on the text. It should select everything So then uh, go to your gradient tool and then make your secondary color like gray or something. I'm just gonna choose that 
that gray swap colors again so that white is my primary color and then go to the top and just drag down like that it should create this gradient so uh, once you're done I'm just gonna deselect it and then uh, what you want to do after that is go to your magic wand tool again this is the difficult part so uh, what you want to do is you want to hold shift and then left click the outside of the text so it selects everything but the text add a new layer and then uh, uh, just get go to your paint bucket tool and make this any color you want I'm just gonna make it pink and then you can deselect it and then go to effects object and then drop shadow like that and then you can make the drop shadow like white or maybe I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make the drop shadow gray and then lower the widening radius and then bring up the blur radius uh, do white you can also do so it should uh, give this cool effect to your text. So I'm gonna do something like that. I'm gonna make it gray. Let's make it a bit brighter. Okay, and then once you're done, click OK. And then go to your magic wand tool again, and then just cut out the pink like that. Select the pink and then cut it out. And then merge it with the bottom layer like that. So it's one layer. And then I'm just gonna do something extra. Like that and once you're done uh, I'm just gonna like add a drop shadow so go to effects object and then drop shadow and then uh, bring the blur radius down to 5 and the winding radius down to 5 and then uh, make your shadow color black or something and then I'm gonna I'm gonna raise the widening radius uh, let's do something like that 18 click OK and then uh, I'm gonna rotate the text a bit so uh go to your uh move selected pixels tool just left click on the text and then just rotate it like that and then deselect it once you're done positioning it and then uh i'm gonna add a vignette which pretty much like makes the edges darker okay so go to effects uh photo and then go to vignette plus like that and then i'm gonna make the color black like that you can also make it white i'm gonna make it black and then bring and then you can like play around with the setting uh no you can play around with this uh i might do something like this I'm, i might just leave it at default yeah i'm gonna put at point point 60 like that and then i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna click okay so uh once i'm done it should look like this so uh if you want to save it, go to File, Save As, and then save it anywhere on your uh, desktop. I'm just going to save it as a PNG here. And then uh, name your file anything. Profile picture like that. Click OK. And then click Flatten Layer. Or like, click Flatten. And then you should be done. So uh, if you guys want more tutorials, uh, leave a like or just tell me in the comments below. Uh, I don't really have anything else to say. So uh, peace out.